Hello and welcome back to Mac UAT. This topic is about locational break even analysis. So locational means we have to find out the location, right? So we have to select a location. So we will be selecting location based on the break even analysis. So break even is a point uh, where the costs collide. What does that mean? We would just know in a second. So for selecting a location, we need to select the location with the minimum cost for a certain number of units production. Right? So if you are producing 500 units uh, per year or per tenure or per unit of time, then what would be the minimum cost for a certain location? And then if you are uh, producing 2000 units then which location to be selected in order for the cost to be minimum now as we are dealing with the cost so there are two types of cost that makes up the total that make up the total cost the first one is the fixed cost and then the second one is the variable cost fixed cost uh, is the cost that is uh, fixed as the word says but it means that this is the cost that the company or industry has to pay continuously even if they are not producing even a single uh, unit right so they have to pay it uh, uh, in any case whether they are producing the products or they are not producing the products the company has to pay this cost so it might be the cost of for example uh, the land they are borrowing or it might be the rent it might be uh, the other certain bills or taxes that they have to pay even if they are not producing any units or any product while the variable cost is the cost that is totally dependent on the number of units being produced right? so it is called the variable cost because it changes uh, as the number of units uh, changes right so these are the two costs that we need to keep into account and some of these two costs cost would be uh, our total cost so when, when, when we add these two costs then we would be having the total cost right and we need to minimize this total cost for a certain number of units right and as we said this does not depend on number of units of the product while this totally depends on the number of units of the product right so the sum of these two would be the total cost and we are trying to reduce this total cost based on the number of units we are producing in a certain uh, at a certain location right so we would be trying to select the location that is uh, providing us the minimum cost for a certain number of product uh, pro products right and that's the uh, the analysis that we will be using uh, let's move to that so as for now we already know that the fixed cost is the cost that company has to pay even if they are not producing any product uh, the variable cost totally depends on the number of units we are producing right and the total cost would be some of these uh, the fixed cost and the variable cost so we are having total cost which is the sum of the fixed cost plus the variable cost right so what is the variable cost so it is uh, the cost per unit right so if you are producing one unit of product what will be the cost uh, while production of one unit of that product right and then multiply it by the number of units that how many how many units are we producing right so that would be our total variable cost right this would be our total fixed cost and then this would the sum of these two would be giving us the total cost related to a certain production of uh, units right now this equation totally relates uh, to a linear equation which is uh, y is equal to m times x plus c right as c is constant it, it resembles uh, the, the fixed cost in the other equation which is also constant right we, we call the c in the equation as the y intercept while drawing it on the x and y axis right so as uh, c resembles the f, uh, fixed cost 
the x is the number of units so number of units might change that we want to produce 500 uh, units or we want to produce 2000 number of uh, products right so this is a variable right and then m is the slope or it is a cost per unit uh, it is a slope in this equation but in this equation is the cost per unit right and then the total cost uh, is uh, represented by y so that means uh, while we're drawing uh, the x and y axis the x would be showing us the number of units while while the y axis would be representing the total cost right so now without further ado let's look at the example and then try try to find out uh, the total cost using um, this technique right and uh, after finding out the total cost we would be trying to draw it in the x and y axis and from that we would get to know what is the break break even analysis uh, let's move to that now let's suppose uh, we are having these uh, three cities as a location of uh, our project then uh, which one should we select if we want to have a production of 2000 uh, units right so you have to select the location between these two whether we should select Athens, Brussels or uh, Lisbon uh, in order to find out that which will be our minimum cost if we want to produce uh, 2000 number of units right of our product uh, as we already know the equation y is equal to mx plus c for, uh, so y would be our total cost and uh, m is the variable cost per unit which is the slope and then x is the variable or number of units but in this case we are having uh, 2000 as x because we want to find out two, uh, the location for 2000 number of units and then uh, c would be our uh, y intercept which is the fixed cost uh, here as a c right so we, we want to find out that which location should we select uh, if we want to uh, find out uh, that which location should we select then we have to put all these values uh, in this equation and find out the total cost which is y right and uh, we, whichever is having uh, the minimum total cost that would be the location that we should select for that number of units right now let's uh, try to find out using calculator so for the first uh, location which is Athens we would be having uh, the C as 30,000 right and then we would be having 30,000 plus m times x which is m is the number of units uh, variable cost per unit which is 75 and then multiplied by x so x is in this case 2000 so multiplied by 2000 so we are having 1 like an 80,000 uh, or 180,000 total so this will be the total cost that we need to have if you want to go to this location for production of 2000 number of units but uh, for the case of Brussels we are having fixed cost of 6000 plus a variable cost of 45 multiplied by the number of units which is 2000 and we are having uh, the total cost of only like 50000 and then for the final location which is by this one we are having fixed cost of one leg and ten thousand plus twenty five is the variable cost per unit multiplied by the number of units which is two thousand and we are getting it as one leg and sixty thousand dollars right so now we can see that if you want to choose the location between these three and we, uh, our target is uh, to produce 2000 units then which location should we select in order for our cost to be minimum right so for the minimum cost as you can see we are having the brussel as our minimum cost if you want to produce uh, 2000 uh, units right so that's how we we find out the location between different location or among different location that which location should be selected uh, uh, for our uh, site or for a certain number of units right so this is just a simple example now we would uh, draw this uh, the same example on x y axis 
and you try to use the pre-keeping analysis and find out that what is the location based on that uh, x, y, x uh, diagram. Uh, let's go to that. Now after uh, drawing the total cost on the x and y axis, where y axis uh, shows the total cost and uh, the x axis uh, takes the number of units uh, being produced, right? So x is the number of units and uh, the y is the total cost involved for that number, certain number of units. Right? And the C is obviously the fixed cost which is the y intercept or the line, uh, the point where the line crosses the y axis. So that would be our uh, y intercept and which will be the fixed cost. So we can draw this, uh, these lines for each location very easily by taking, uh, we, we already know the slope which is the variable cost per unit and we already know the y intercept which is uh, the fixed cost. By taking any two number of units, uh, we, we can find two points and then joining this point we will be able to draw these lines for each location. Once we draw these lines, uh, now we, we are trying to find out that what would be the location for, uh, select, uh, for the production of uh, 2000 units. So which one should we select in order for the cost to be minimum? In the previous case we said we found out that Brussels would be the location where we will be having the minimum cost and as, as uh, once we have this graph we can directly look at the 2000 number of units and uh, try to find out the location with the minimum cost. So this is the location where we are having minimum cost if you want to find out 2000, uh, we want to find out the location with the uh, number of units having 2000 right so the Brussels would be location as this line is for Brussels so it, it would be the suitable location because it would be having uh, the minimum cost uh, minimum total cost which would be this one uh, in order to f produce 2000 number of units right and uh, why do we call it the break even analysis because uh, as you can see these points are the points where uh, the location, the line of the locations uh, cross each other, right? Now, that, these points are known as the break-even points for a certain number of units, right? So these are the break-even points, which means that uh, previous to that number of units, we would be selecting this location, right? And after this break-even point, the location that we need to select would be changed. Right? So if you are having producing uh, products less than this number of units, right? if you want to produce the products less than this number of units or less than the breaking even point, then we would select Athens as our location because it would be having the minimum total cost. But after this number of units, if you want to produce 1000 or 1500 number of units, so we would be selecting Brussels as our uh, location because uh, now this will be having the minimum cost, right? So this location of, the selection of this location will be beneficial and after this number of units, you would say that again the location we need to select would be changed at this point and uh, then after that we need to select a list one in order to have the minimum total cost. So based on the number of units, we can see that the location we are choosing might change. Right, so in order to choose the minimum total cost, or in order to meet our criteria and find out the minimum cost uh, location, right? So this is a general procedure for uh, locational break-even analysis, and it is a simple procedure in order to find out the location should we choose uh, in order for the cost to be minimum for a certain number of units, right? So I hope it is clear. Uh, if you still have any issues, please do comment. I will be more than glad to answer. Uh, wish you best of luck. Goodbye. If you liked my video, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. Wishing you the best of luck.